Super DSLR. Super. Hello. So uh, today, coming back, uh, I'm gonna be uh, reviewing over the Hair 7-inch LCD TV monitor right here. I have it on right now. It's like an infinite zoom right now, but uh, yeah, this is a great cheap monitor. Pretty thin. Plugs in with these ports, built-in battery, that kind of stuff. So basically, let's go over it. First of all, we'll talk about the structure. So as you can see, it has a nice matte black finish to it. The screen is seven inches. Um, works really well. It, at, in sharp daylight, you know, hard daylight, it's kind of tough because uh, there is some glare. So try and build a hood or something around it. That would be great. I'm going to do that later on. Um, go to the back of it as I said earlier there's a built-in battery on the right there this battery lasts for about two to three hours um, and you can plug in there is a DC port that you can use to charge replacement batteries are about $20 so if you do want to have two batteries on set that's fine but just keep in mind that Considering the price of the whole thing is $32, the whole monitor is $32, the battery is $20, so that's you know, not that great of a deal. Um, then it has this kickstand in the back that folds out. That might not be very useful to DSLR filmmakers, but it works really well uh, if you are have it on the ground or something. But we have on the bottom here, to put it under rig, a uh, what looks like a 1 4 inch thread. Um, that you can put a little ball head on and then mount to your shoulder rig or your tripod. On the side we have some ports. We have a antenna port because this is a TV that is main purpose is to pick up signals and broadcast television on this. Um, but it also has the AV plugs, the red, white, yellow standard plugs and that is what you use through USB to plug into your camera. In my case the T2i and then you have a headphones port and you can monitor sound if you have magic bullet installed which I just did uh, Luke Newman has a great installation tutorial uh, I'll put the link in below for installing magic bullet um, it's really helpful software hack and uh, works really well all right on the other side we have the on off switch and then a DC power port on the front we have some buttons we have the menu button which will take you through a series of different options. The volume buttons move you left and right um, throughout the whole menus, and then the channel buttons you move you up and down. In the picture mode, uh, I have it on uh, I have it on uh, dynamic here, and I have the contrast at 65. Brightness 55. Brightness you want to keep in between 50 and 60, or else it washes out. Um, and then you can turn the sharpness up to, you know, 53 or so, which is what I did. 54. Um, and then you press menu to exit that. The other menus pretty much keep the same. It's just sound and then like menu language and stuff. So the menus aren't, you know, as great for. Uh, navigating as some high-end high-end models with HD ports they have you know they're specifically for monitoring video um, so they have a lot more options but this works really well at 32 bucks so works well for me and then mode for changing in between TV and AV so yeah that's the monitor um, it works pretty well the sharpness isn't totally there since it is standard depth but uh it's it works for pulling focus um and i like the bigger screen it's a big upgrade from my previous tiny little three inch car backup monitor and uh it displays all the uh global draw and all the stuff from the magic bullet on here it's pretty cool uh and yeah you can pick it up on Amazon, brand new, for about $54. You can find it on eBay for around $40 to $44. Or I found one eBay post that was $32, so I snatched it from there and got it. Uh, it was from like retail surplus or something. So it was used, but 
It, I mean, it works great. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. And there's no scratches or anything. And in the box, you will also get a car port for charging the car, a DC power cord, a remote, and a uh, AV cord, which don't use the AV cord that comes in the box because um, Canon's funky USB port on their cameras has like one extra pin, so you don't want to break the uh, pins or mess them up by plugging in a non-Canon USB um, cord into the camera. So just something that Canon does to make you use their cords. But yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think, and um, yeah, also you can probably tell I have Magic Bullet on because the ADC is turned off. Um, Magic Bullet has done wonders for me with the zebras, the focus peaking, all that, uh, and of course monitoring sound on the hair. So yeah, enjoy. <laughs>